guys let's get right into it <laughs> let's get back into this video I wanted to try out the LA girl pro coverage foundation and this was in the shade fair and we're gonna be using the BH cosmetics flat angle kabuki brush in the number 117 so let's go ahead I already primed my face and we're gonna go in I'm really just going to pump it onto my face like this and this is literally going to cover my whole face watch how amazing this is and it matches my complexion perfectly and see here I feel like this scar here and this down here is peeking through so we're gonna apply a little bit more to that area literally just a little a little bit there and some more down here and we're gonna blend that and I feel like right, guys so this is up close um you see the coverage is amazing it did cover my acne scar um, but of course you can't cover texture so of course you see the bump there um, on my chin here again you can just see texture but you don't see the actual scar I mean the one here again texture and for me guys this foundation is amazing but for me I might and I prefer a matte foundation but i do love the coverage that this foundation provides um i i can probably pull off this foundation with no concealer but you know me i had to go in with some concealer but yes i love the coverage it gives it's just too luminous for me so i will definitely be putting powder on to set it but yeah all right guys so this is me with the foundation on and I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will come back towards the end of the day to let you know how I feel about this foundation. Alright guys, so let's get right into my review and I'm going to let you know how I feel about this foundation. This is the one I applied in a demo. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage, the HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. Now you guys that watch my channel, you know that I have oily skin and you can tell with the lighting and in the video that I am oily right now I have been wearing this foundation since uh, I want to say 7 a.m. actually no about 6 a.m. 6 30 I applied the foundation and it is now 6 30 p.m. so I've had it on throughout the day I went to work um, and went about my business today so you can see my forehead is shiny. I will zoom you in so you guys can see and you can tell that my nose is really shiny and I don't have any highlighter on. That's just my oils coming through. Um, so yes. Now this foundation says it's long wear. Now I can say that for the rest of my face it looks really good. Um, but of course it is coming through on my nose which it happens a lot with any foundation that i use any long wear foundation it happens with my with my estee lauder double wear it happens with my um, urban decay all nighter um with any of my matte foundations it still happens uh, no matter what so it doesn't matter if it's high end or lower costly um foundation it really doesn't matter either way it still seeps through i do set it I did set it today with um, my Cody Airspun powder. Um, 
and this powder is actually mixed with the J Cat banana powder. So I just um it maybe like it's probably like half a half in here. Um it's probably like half um airspun and half banana powder. So it is really yellow because of course the banana powder is yellow. So I just take that and I set my nose really well as well as baking underneath my eyes. Um, just to set it and I take a little tiny bit just to dust it all over my face and usually whatever's left underneath of my nose and on my nose I just take it and buff it into the rest of my face. So guys um, When you first apply it you do see a glow as you can see in the video the skin is very Glowy, but like I said, I do have very oily areas. So I do like to set them areas just for a, a longer um just so the foundation lasts a little longer on me or so that the oils don't seep through as quick, if that makes sense. I feel like if I put powder on my foundation, it just makes it last a lot longer um, and just keeps me with that matte flat look. The only dewy thing I like on my face is usually um, applying some highlight on my cheeks. That's the only thing that I like dewy, but I don't like my whole face to be like extremely shiny. But to each his own because everybody has their preference. I prefer a matte face and a little bit of highlight on my cheeks. But yes, this foundation, guys, I actually got it. I bought it at Ulta and it looks like they had a um, buy one, get one free. Um, I'm sorry, buy one, get one 50% off. And then I had a 20% um, off of my whole purchase. So I got this foundation for $4.47. And it's usually $8.99 and even $8.99 is so affordable. Let's get you guys in a little closer so you guys can see all of this. Alright guys, so I brought you all up in my personal space and yeah, as you can see... The oils are seeping through. Look how greasy my face looks. This is not grease. This is just that glow. But it almost looks like I took highlighter and just rubbed it all over my nose. But as you can see, it is really oily. Like literally like look at my finger. I can literally just rub it off because I'm like a really oily person. I'm just doing this because I'm going to take it all off anyway. But it is really oily. And my forehead, all this is like really oily. And it's about that time to take the makeup off, but yes. But other than that, guys, this is glow. This is not. Everything else is nice and flat, matte. The foundation is not sticky. It did not separate any anywhere. The coverage is amazing. I do have some acne scars here. And I feel like it did cover it up very well. I mean, other than texture, you really can't see much. This is texture here. Um, you can never cover texture, sorry, guys. But, yeah. And this is texture here. Like an acne mark that, of course, I squeezed. But, yeah, guys. Foundation looks amazing after I set it and put my powder bronzer on. Everything went on very well. Alright guys, now that I showed you my close-up and got all up in my face. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend this foundation. I feel like it lasts a really long time. And like I said, it's not sticky. My face is not sticky. Just my nose and my forehead and a little, little tiny bit on my chin. It's starting to get um, oily and I can actually feel it on my fingers as I touch it. Yeah, it, it's time to come off like it's that time for shower and take this off and yes pajamas get comfortable it's about that time so I would definitely recommend this and for the price like come on it, it you can't beat it if you want a good coverage it is I want to say a medium to full coverage you can definitely build it up you can apply it let it dry settle into your skin and then apply it again um for a thicker layer what i did i applied it one time and then went over 
my areas that I have a couple scars and just added a little bit more product but I love this so if you guys don't have it I will pick it up it does have um also had about I want to say about 10 shades I didn't count it I know I didn't notice that um they didn't have really dark shades um so I think for the darker shades you probably have to order it online I think they maybe had two darker shades so this is my review I hope you guys enjoy